Hi friends and welcome to Coffee with My Sunshine. Today we are working on some high-end dupes made really, really affordable. For the first one, we are starting with these blocks from the Dollar Tree, these coasters from the Dollar Tree, and I'll show you my inspiration piece here in a second. I just liked these. I thought they were really cute and I like the sayings on them. Some gel super glue, or you can use hot glue, wood glue, whatever your favorite type of glue is. Some wood beads. I will link where I got mine in the description box. And some skewer sticks or bamboo sticks. You could also use dowel rods. And this is my inspiration piece, but for $123, I really didn't want to pay that for a coaster holder. <laughs> So I'm starting with these little blocks from the Dollar Tree. They're from the Jenga game, I believe. And I am just going to glue them all together. I want them the size or a little bit bigger than the coasters from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to first glue them end to end. And I just made this little like guide here up at the top. I just glued some pieces of wood together just so that I could keep my pieces straight. And this glue works really well. It bonds quickly and it dries fairly quick too, but you'll want to let it sit a few hours or overnight. I've just found with hot glue that when you use hot glue and if you're not working like super, super quick, you get almost gaps in between the wood blocks. And also a lot of times with hot glue, it just snaps apart. So after this was dry, I just drilled some holes in the corner and you don't have to do that. You could easily just glue the um, skewer sticks and the beads right on there, but I wanted it a little bit more secure. Also, I wanted to sand down some of the edges because it wasn't completely even. So then you wanna take your favorite paint or stain. I'm using paint and water just because um, I didn't feel like breaking out the stain and it being really stinky. <laughs> so I'm using this technique that I and many other crafters have used before. It's like a faux stain. You can easily just brush it on. I did this in one of my last DIYs in a really pretty sage green color. I'll link that above if you want to see it. And then you just wipe it off as if it was a real stain to reveal some of the wood grain. And you just want to go along the edges and the bottom, don't forget about the bottom. And those little marks on there, you could easily just sand those off, but I wasn't worried about it because it was the bottom. And also if you wanted to add some of those little felt pads on the bottom so it doesn't scratch up your tabletop, that would be awesome too. So I'm just taking these wood beads, they are from craftparts.com. I got them a long time ago, but they have some of the best prices for wood crafting supplies. I will have them linked in the description box. So I'm just going to put these right onto that skewer rod or skewer stick and put some of that um, faux stain right on those like I did on the, um, the coaster holder on the wood pieces. And I'm just dabbing it on. I think this is the easiest way to paint beads just like this and you can get right in between and then just roll them to the parts that you haven't done yet. And then you can just easily wipe off the excess, just like this. And then I wanted the um, skewer stick to be stained too, just in case you saw any of it. I didn't think you would, but um, I went ahead and did this step anyway, just in case. And to put it together, you just take some of that super glue and make sure you're moving the, <laughs> the coaster holder a lot because you don't want it to glue to your table. So I just added a little bit of extra hot glue just to hold it in place right away so that it was nice and secure. And then I um, put a dab of hot glue in between each bead to hold them on nice and tight. Again, you could use wood glue here, that would be just fine. But I wanted immediate, um, I guess, hold. <laughs> so then you just snip off the excess um, skewer stick and then use some wood glue. I'll show you here in a minute what kind I'm using. I forgot to show you to start with. <laughs> um, this stuff's cool because it dries um, and you can go ahead and paint it or stain it or faux stain it to match the wood bead. So then I just went ahead and did that all the way around on each four corners. And this one I decided to trim off the excess skewer stick before I put the last bead on 
just so it actually, you know, you couldn't see the actual stick. This is one of my favorite wood glues, if you're interested. And then after it is all set up and dry, I didn't wait for the top part to be dry, but it was good enough. But these are the coasters I'm using. I just thought they were super cute. I love that they have these little quotes on them and perfect pick me up when you go to have a cup of coffee in the morning. <laughs> And you just put the coasters in between the wood beads and I think it's so cute. I love how it turned out. This is probably one of my favorites. So let me know what you guys think of this one. Also, Antique Candle Company, my favorite kind of candles. If you're interested, I have my link always in my description box. This is my second inspiration piece. I believe this was Kohl's. I just loved the sea foam look. So I wanted to recreate it on a budget. So I'm using these two. One is a vase from the Dollar Tree and one is a wine glass from the Dollar Tree, which by the way, are great wine glasses. <laughs> these are the colors I'm using. Sorry if it's kind of out of focus. This one is actually fairly old. So I, I don't really know where I got this one. Probably Michaels or Walmart. Um, I love this frosted glass spray paint. I have another couple projects coming up where I use it. It makes it looks, it makes glass look really pretty. So I just mix those two blues together to get a little bit of a like sea foam color. And then just took a sponge, a wet sponge, because you don't want it to be too thick and heavy and just dab it on the top part, just like in the inspiration piece. And I might go back, I don't know if this is gonna ruin it because I've already spray painted the, or the glass, but I might go back and kind of like feather in the color a little bit better so that it's lighter on the bottom so it just looks like it kind of fades away. Um, you'll see in the my reveal picture, it's just a little bit harsher of a line than I want it to be. So for the bubbly look on, from the inspiration piece, I am using some clear Elmer's glue. I rinsed out the jar, that's why. <laughs> it looks like there's water in there. And you're going to take your paintbrush that has a little bit of water in there and just swirl it around as much as you can until you get bubbles. It almost looks like you're using maybe dish soap. <laughs> and then I wasn't sure how I was going to do this. I kind of did like a sweeping motion like I was painting, but then I dabbed some of it on. I wasn't really sure what what kind of effect I was gonna get, but I was just trying it out. So I was kind of happy with it. I would probably maybe do swirls next time, just so it doesn't look like so, um, so the pattern doesn't look so like up and down, if you know what I mean. But it, it still gave the effect that I wanted it to. And then I just did it to the bigger vase too. I think it's super pretty even before we put the frosted glass spray on there. But if you can see right there, it, the, the blue line just looks a little bit harsh to me. I would probably add more water to the blue paint and just kind of fade it down to almost the bottom just so it doesn't look so obvious I guess more faded like the inspiration piece but anyway I liked them I think they turned out really pretty and my sunroom is more of like a coastal theme so this is perfect this is my next inspiration piece I know it, that was a Pottery Barn piece they were selling more of the filler not so much the glass <laughs> but I thought it was pretty all together so I wanted to try and recreate it and I have tons of shells and sand from Florida when we go on our vacations but you can get sand from the dollar store and I know craft stores sell shells and I think so does Dollar Tree 
And I just went ahead and dumped in some of the stuff that I had. I have shark's teeth. I have so many cool things from the beach. <laughs> and then I just kind of shook the sand down to the bottom and then kept some of the bigger shells for the top. And this one was super easy, obviously, like so easy, <laughs> but I wanted to recreate the look using a condiment jar and what I had on hand. So this one was basically free. For this next one, this was a restoration hardware inspiration piece that I found. This is going to be a lot different, but it kind of gave me the idea. I'm going on a lot smaller scale. So I just am using that vase from the Dollar Tree. And also this is from the Dollar Tree. It was from a project that I had done quite a while ago. So I'm not going to worry about it because I'm adding this textured paint on top. And I am going to use this gray paint, or I thought I was going to. You'll see here in a minute. <laughs> and also these are rocks from the dollar store. So first with the jar or the vase, I like to spray the bottoms of everything first. So this is what happened. For some reason, this little nozzle did not want to work. So I went ahead and used brown, which I ended up being really happy with anyway. And I gave it a pretty good coat. I wasn't too worried about it because this stuff, I, you wouldn't be able to see if it was uneven or anything. Anyway, I went super heavy with this. I probably wouldn't go this heavy next time. <laughs> but this is a textured spray and it gives it like a nice stone look. And then after it was dry, I'm just taking those stones from the Dollar Tree and filling up just enough to make it so that my little vase sits evenly on the stones. And then I'm filling that up with those white rocks and then filling in around it. This would probably be really cool if you had um, those little candles, maybe just barely poking out of the rocks. That would be really pretty. But I did not have that, so I'm using what I had, and it's a little pineapple candle. Actually, it smells so good from <laughs> Pier 1 back in the day, and this is how it turned out and yeah let me know what you guys think of these high-end dupes i hope you're all having a wonderful day thanks so much for your, all your love and support and i'll see you next time bye